sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then. Cross your eyes. The young homie is here, man. Yeah. This is the guy that when you look at him, and you look at him at first sight, if he doesn't say anything, you think he just came from Bible school. <laughs> <laughs> he has nice hair. Yeah, he's always clean cut. You know, he looks like he's 15, but when he talks, he got the voice of a 35-year-old. Dave. All right, he got the free crack mixtape that's been, man, he got a lot of people from Drake to Mac Miller to just a lot of people are really excited about the movement he started. He's here with us today. Give it up for Lil Bibby, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, what's up, what's up, man? How you been, man? You been, you know, last time, well, last time I saw you were on MTV Rafix. First time I saw you is when we came to Chicago and you came by the broadcast we did. And you, you done so much since then. You know, yeah, uh, man, I've been working, man. <laughs> you've been working, right? Yeah. Um, uh, you've been traveling a lot. Where are some of the places you've been? Uh, I've been to LA a few times, New York. This is like my fourth time out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Milwaukee, Minnesota, uh, Atlanta. Like, I've been back and forth to Atlanta like 10, 12 times. Wow. wow. How old are you now? 19. 19. So that's a whole lot for a, a 19 for a 19 year old, man. What has that those experiences been like? You could see the difference of these cities now, you know, with, yeah. or, is it, or is it all the same? What you like about Atlanta that's different from the West? Um, Atlanta got the girls with the you know, with mm. the fat ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, go ahead, you say, I don't want to say they got the he got they got the girls with the what with the big butts, man. I think them shots or something. I think everybody got shots. I went to the strip club, I'm yeah. feeling you know. Yeah. It feel like like this. It, was, it felt lumpy. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the lump, the litmus test. If it, if it feels <laughs> lumpy and extra hard, like like that, and then you feel that thigh and it's soft and pudgy. Ew. How you know, Sway? Right. That's the <laughs> question. Been in the clubs. <laughs> oh, Bippy know what's up with me, man. <laughs> but Bippy said he like it. How? No, Sway? I don't like them shots, man. It, it, it's nice to look at, but man, no. Nah, when you touch on it, man, I feel like this. feel like rock. So that, okay, that's one thing to note. Bippy don't like them injected. Fake shot fake asses. Yeah. What do you think of the girls in LA? Um they all right, man. They a little nice, man. I, ain't, I don't like the LA vibe, man. Yeah. It's yeah. everybody a little too nice. I ain't used to that. <laughs> you know <what> way. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> you ever consider maybe something's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, if if nice is a problem? <laughs> no, but it's like everybody just smiling. Hi, how are you? You know. I'm not used to nothing like that, man. I'm from Chicago, you know. What, what, what are you used to being from Chicago? What is man, it like? Man, I got to watch my back 24 hours a day. That's what I'm used to. Yeah. So I be, I be kind of, I like traveling because I don't got to worry about nothing. But yeah. LA, is, it's just, I don't like that vibe. Okay. That's interesting. You like traveling because you don't have to worry about nothing. Mm. Isn't, that, isn't that like, what, what does that say for where we are today? Bibby like to travel because when you're in the airport, you, you know you totally secure. You got TSA. Mm-hmm. You know you ain't in your environment, and you can relax when you leave Chicago. So what is it like when you go back? Um, same shit. You know I gotta watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I gotta watch how I move around. You know. Yeah. So it's like that, and then I can't go outside in Chicago. It's like everybody. If I go somewhere, I gotta take pictures all the time. You know, mm-hmm. I get a lot yeah. of love in Chicago yeah. too, but at the same time, I got a lot of enemies too. So. Mm-hmm. Still, huh? Hmm. Damn, you still you got You have en- a lot of enemies at 19. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's the age. Young, you know? Yeah. Wow. In Chicago, Bibby is here, man. They ain't trying to be no Debbie Downer. That's just the reality of where he comes from. I want to talk to you more about that. I lo- Listen, man, I love, like, talking to a, a 19-year-old who's in the thick of it, in the mix of it, because we can't tell, especially in this industry. We sit and act like we know, but yeah. until we go into these neighborhoods. I've been in Chicago. Me and David Banner, under the radar, went through Chicago from mm-hmm. hood to hood, and mm-hmm. we, had to, we had to check in right at the block. <laughs> you make right. sure that you knew the right people yeah. to go in it. But Lil Bibby is here, free crack. It's the mixtape. If you haven't got it, make sure you pick it up. You want to talk with him, 888-742-3345. That's Lil Bibby. He here, he's here with us today. His debut mixtape, Free Crack, is out. Get it. New single is called Water. That was us on a conversation you and I had maybe how many? August. in August, so uh, a few months back. Mm-hmm. And you were talking about Chicago. I had a lot of people after that show um, hit me up from different places in the country and were asking me about you after hearing you uh, uh, talk about that environment and now to hear you today even 
though your life has evolved and you've progressed a little bit in the past few months, to say that I still got enemies. You know, a lot of us are looking for, uh, like, the, the solution to what goes on in these cities, man. In, in terms of Chicago, man, you guys being so young and, and dealing with so much violence and, and heartache, is it, 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 what, what, if, it, if it were up to you, if you were the mayor of Chicago, what would you recommend to try to help fight against all that violence? Man, I don't know, man. Ain't no money. Ain't no money in the streets, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just a whole lot of guns. Ain't no, ain't no money. Ain't no so, money. No, no. So, so uh, if if there was jobs, maybe do you think you know people in the streets would choose employment as opposed to you know illegal acts? Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some people. I don't know. I never had a job. Mm -hmm. I never really wanted a job. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know none of my homies that'll work no job. <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe some people will uh, uh, start working, but I don't know a lot of people that. Uh, I'm just gonna ask you questions. Not this. It's just in general. This ain't n nothing against you. I'm just curious to the mind state. So, do your homies? Do you feel like people come up thinking I, I don't want a job, I don't have a job, and I'll be able to do what I'm doing in these streets for the rest of my life? Mm. They don't even think like that. How they think? Um, shit, they just take it one day at a time, man. One day at mm. a time. That's some real ass. I'm trying not to curse this year, by the way, baby. Uh, I did. I did say. It? No, okay. I want you to say That's it some real shit right there. One day at a time. It is. That ain't a whole lot of hope. So people don't have hope. Um, no. Nah. nah. So when you, someone who came from the center of all that, you know are able to make a name for yourself and, you know, eventually start making good money where you don't have to do the street activity, number one, would you stop doing the street activity? Uh, if this rap stuff work good enough, hopefully I don't have to do that, you know? Yeah. But if it don't, what other, what other shit could I do? School, maybe? Mm. No. No, no. <laughs> okay. Um, do you think your success would inspire dudes who came from your neighborhood to like, okay, let me try something different. Let me at least try something different. Bibby did it. Because you start rapping just on the block because, you know, time when you had spare time, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I hope so. I hope a lot of people could um try to find a way to do something, you know. Mm -hmm. But, like, everybody can't rap, you know. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you, if you rapping or playing basketball or that school shit, man, a lot of people don't. I don't none of my homies don't go to school. Mm-hmm. But what's wrong? But why? I, I I hear you saying it, and I. But what what's wrong with school? I don't know. Like I'm from the street, so you know, it be too much shit going on. Like then we start making that little money, you know, little drug money or whatever. You, you just look at school like I'm wasting my time here. You know. Mm -hmm. This has been my experience, and correct me if I'm wrong. People are out on the streets, they hustling, they getting some money. You get caught. You take what little money you was able to save. If your baby mother, your kids don't get it, you have to use the money get to stay lawyer. out of jail to get a lawyer. Yeah. So now you're back to zero. At some point, don't you say, well, I, I, I need to try something else. Because you're right. Everybody can't shoot hoops and everybody can't rap. But you can go to school. Don't. It, it's not an idea that pops into people's head instead of paying <laughs> lawyers. I don't know. It's man. just my thinking. I don't know. <laughs> this is how we think. This is how we think. Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, we don't, that school is like a waste of time to most y y young dudes from the streets, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I get that. Uh, so, with, with all of this anguish and, and pain, and, 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 you know, you got to look over your shoulder, and I, I'm just curious, like, what do you talk to girls about if you right. go out on a date? What do y'all talk about? Is you finna come? <laughs> is you finna come to the? <laughs> what was that? Is you finna come? Oh, what you trying to do? <laughs> Wait, but how soon? That's first day talk. First day, man, Chicago. <laughs> first day, just like that. If and out of like five girls, how many of them actually go home on that first night? Um, I don't know, man. Like you'll get one of them, one of like two out of five. You know, and me being me. Like, Probably four out of five. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs>
So you doing uh, menages and all that now? Uh, no, nah, man. I, I man, I got a couple of girls, man. I, I'll try to, you know, cause the famous stuff, you know, I could get any. Yeah. Uh, that shit kind of weird to me, man. Yeah. Like, I don't like a girl to do everything I say, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. You strike me as a type of person that um, uh, you 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 don't like anything fake or phony, or if you feel like somebody in it for the wrong reasons, you stand off. Yeah. <laughs> why? You feel like they dangerous, or why? Why you feel like? I don't know. I just hate. A fake person, you know, mm-hmm. I could tell when somebody like get it, get you know, like around for a reason. Mm-hmm. I just, I just hate that shit. Man. Yeah, man, I'm surrounded by people like that, baby. What I'm gonna do? All what I'm gonna do, man? <laughs> all these dudes right here, man. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? A uh, little Bibby is here. Uh, let's play that water joint, all right? And we're gonna take some calls, and then, uh, man, I owe him a verse. Well, I owe him the opportunity to kick a oh, verse. I okay, that's next. Uh, yeah, man, I, I got quiet like I ain't got 16. Yeah, yeah, I want to hear you spit this time. You got two. All right, you first. 888-742-3345. Yeah, Lil Bibby. It's that water, free crack. I like Bibby's videos, man. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm on his block. Yo, this is... To me, some of the most interesting. This is I appreciate you being forthcoming, man. That's an interesting conversation. Yeah. We just yeah. trying to uh, figure out things here, you know, and allow people to come up and tell the truth. We talking about little Bibby, growing up in Chicago. Uh, what I've gathered is people live, you know, day by day. Um, education isn't so much a, a priority because people feel like it's a waste of time if you're in these streets making money. It is a a, a, a re- it's a cycle that people go through. You know, you make the money, you pay off whatever you owe, and you know, if you're making it illegally, you got to pay off attorney fees, and then you're back to zero. Um, but people still do it. Baby, how far? How close are you to? Uh, uh, did you finish high school? Um, no, I didn't finish high school, man. Okay. How how far? How far did you get? How how? What do you need to do to finish? Uh, I got to my senior year. I, I got like 19 credits. I, all I needed was 20. But I just I just couldn't do enough. <laughs> I couldn't to... waste. Uh, well, I don't know, man. I should have did it. Could've, one more credit. You only, water. you only you only need one more credit. Yeah, man, you can do that on the road. Mm. One yeah. more credit. Yeah. I just told him. Hey, that. man, if you get that credit, we're gonna throw you a graduation party right here on Sirius XM. Yes. Save for a five. I man. will cook. I will Heather supply. Cook. I will. I will. You got my word. Yeah. I will cook. I will do. What I want to see, I want to see that for you. And I was just saying to you while the music was playing, what a lot of people don't realize in this industry, you have to be able to understand the language and talk it. And you get that through education. And everything I've gotten by the grace of God was through my connections through school, whether high school or college. Go get those connections. Go get that education because you could be used for something much bigger than just music, man. It's, it's a blessing that you hear, and thank you for sharing that, as Sway said. But go get that education because, yeah. man, you, you got you, it already. You, you, you got something, man. I'm not just saying this. You you, you got an appeal about you. Yes. Um, that um, It's why Drake would tweet that he's looking forward to your album or Mac Miller or all these guys who are established. Um, it's part of the appeal. It ain't like they haven't heard rappers before. You right. know what I mean? And right. It's been a thousand motherfuckers put out music in the past year. That's right. So for you to stand out for us, I'm so interested in your story, man. That's why I, I, I hope you don't think I'm weird or something, but I always like talk to you <laughs> about this stuff because I'm trying to find out the mentality. I think it's important we find out the mentality. Do you, do you, do you fear... Like uh, somebody trying to take your life a lot, do, does that cross your mind? Uh, I don't know, shit. You just gotta watch, it. kind of. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. And so having to live like that, at the same time, the contrast, the dichotomy of living with that in your mind, but every day you push it forward. You hear? Mm. I don't know if you understand this, baby, but. You're not just on one radio station that's planted in the marketplace. You are all Sweet. over the world on the number one month. Yeah. This is it. It don't get no bigger than this. <laughs> I just had to throw a stun in there, y'all. I hope y'all don't mind. Uh, Lil Bibby is here. I'm going to take some phone calls, 888-742-3345. Alex in Miami on the line. Go ahead, Alex. What's your question for Bibby? Yeah, what up to the morning show? What's Good up, Sway? What up? All right, bless. What up, Lil Bibby? Nah, I want to say, up, man, more up? or less, like, I'm an old, older head compared to Bibby, man, but I know that Chicago stuff is real out there. I had a couple of boys who moved down from Miami to get away from the violence. I'm 34. So my brothers, they got shot up there. They mm. came back to get away from it. 
went back to a couple of funerals, and then when he went back to move because his fever's got in a situation, he got shot 11 times. Damn. Died on the scene out there, so I know that gang life, that gang culture is real, real. and hard to stay away from, so you know I hope the brother the best. But my second thing is with our culture from the hip-hop, from where we came from, we had to be singing all glocks down and everything, even though it was still going on. How do y'all feel with the whole Chirac music coming up on a different scene where it's just still perpetuating all the violence? Um, shit. It's a good thing that we get noticed, but um, the the younger kids they just rapping about what they see. They not really looking at it as they promoting violence. They just that's everyday shit, you know. What what is the drill? What is drill, man? What is this music movement that's going on? How can you explain that to us, man? I don't even know, man. That, that's what y'all. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what, what the masses uh call gave it. a name for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you you at first said y'all, then you said, well, no, no, I ain't gonna put sway, in <laughs> sway in I ain't gonna put bullshit. Sway in you know, thank you, man. Um, <laughs> Bibby is here. Uh, we got uh, Giovanni, who's actually in Chicago on the line. Giovanni, good morning. How you doing? What up, man? What up? What up, little baby? What's up, bro? Uh, man, I'm just saying, you know, showing some love. You know, out here from the hundreds. Get ready to know what's up. Uh, nah, but you know what? I just say, you know, a lot of people that ain't from Chicago. They don't really know what's up, you know, they don't really know what's going on. So this this rap they rapping about, you know, we get it, you out here, but to them it's like some new shit. They don't even know how you got to live. I mean, you know, there's only a couple of ways to go out the hood. The whole point is to get out the hood, but shit, you either, you know, selling drugs, or you, know, you got to get it how you live, you know? Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, he said he's pretty much agreed with you then on that. Let me ask you this. After this mixtape, I know... You know, you made some friends now. What's your next move? You're going to do the EP? You're going to do the album? What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking, I'm shooting a couple of videos off the tape. Mm -hmm. and I'm thinking an EP, but like a couple of industry homies, <laughs> they've been hitting me up. Like, they've been telling me they got some songs for me. If I catch a big single, I'm going to have to start working on the album immediately. But if, if not, I'm going to put out an EP and, just, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want to keep that information under the wraps on who the homies are? Yeah, man. Okay. All right. I won't do that to you. I ain't even got to say shit. Ain't got to say a damn thing. Lil Bibby is here, ladies and gentlemen. Sway in the morning. Three crackers at mixtape. A good, it's a good mixtape to listen to on a Saturday, have it be, when mm -hmm. you, you ain't got nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Just you and your house. Cooking. Well, that's when I listen to it. Yeah. You know, that's when I listen to music on Saturdays. Like, yeah. I just go through albums after album music after day. album. Music day for me is Saturdays. Bibby is here. Uh, Water is the new single. If you haven't picked up the uh, Free Crack mixtape, get that. Look out for the album coming soon. Uh, we learned a lot about how he grew up, yeah. about Chicago. But at the end of the day, what brought him here is that game of rap. That game of rap. Yo, Wonder, turn the music down, man. You ready? I'm ready. I say... I wish I could give you this feeling while these niggas chilling. My mind on a million. Still thinking about the times I was dealing. Made it off that corner, but still his guys want to kill him. I'm lucky I'm living. And I got youngest in the cut, and they toting hand glocks. Used to set up shop, ducking cops and ops. And you fucking with them niggas, get you on your man shot. They ain't used to fuck with me, but they say I'm they man's now. I just want the money, nigga. You could keep the fame. I built up my name, then nothing was the same. Niggas that I knew for 10 years just changed. Young niggas getting in, fucking up the game, but hey. There it is, little Bibby right there. <laughs> right there. Your verses be sounding like it just happened last week. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about his verses. I understand a little bit. I thank you for that insight, man. I know you lost a lot of friends in, yeah. in recent years. At 19, yeah. you, you lost multiple friends. And to me, I think that it helped explains a lot of people's mentality. But know that... We up here, we care about you as a person no first, an no artist doubt. second. And, man, if you're able to get that credit, we throwing you a party. Word. All right, a graduation no party. Doubt. You know how to cook, though, man? Yeah, the, <laughs> I, I know how to cook. She know how to cook, y'all. Yes. She's a burner. <laughs> She's a mixologist, I'm going to get that too. credit, man. I, I, I need some Whatever. collard greens. Talk about it. Fried chicken, Talk macaroni. Light. <laughs> That's light, huh? Cornbread, Cornbread. Red, red velvet cake, oh, wh wh whatever you need. Yeah, Potato salad, credit. whatever you, fish, whatever you need. Mm -hmm. I got you. That's my word from me to you. All right. All right. Little Bibby, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, man, thanks for coming through, homie. Always good to see you. You going to South by Southwest? You going to be there? We're going to do a broadcast. Come back by, all right? All right, cool. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.